Hey everybody, we have been busy here lately. Earlier this week we actually hosted a few international trade teams here. They were all here at the same time. I made the mistake of telling you guys they were from China. I didn't read into the details enough because I just, I think I assumed that that's where they were from because that's what I know has been done in the past. They were actually from all over. They were from Guatemala and Ghana, Sri Lanka. In total, there were five or six countries and close to 40 people here. That was through the uh, Minnesota Soybean Growers Association, so we appreciate them coming out and, and giving us the opportunity to show them our farm and show them how a uh, corn and soybean farm works in the upper Midwest. On top of that, yesterday I helped host an event in Alexandria just up the road here with uh, Trace Genomics where we talked about how Trace is looking into the entire microbiome of the soil and really digging in deep to get the uh, correlations and the, what's the word I'm looking for? Symbiotic, that's the word, the symbiotic relationship between all the nutrients in the soil and what's actually going on because we actually really only understand a small amount of what's happening in the soil. Today, what we're gonna do actually is work on the combine in here. I've got some people from May West Manufacturing coming out with some of their new poly stock stompers that we're gonna put on the back. These are the ones that don't use a spring. They actually use like a torsion rubber, kind of like a trailer axle. So they're gonna come out and we're gonna do that. But first, before they get here, I've gotta get this bar from our old style stompers off the back of the header here so that we can get to work once they get here. Got to get that Instagram. Now you can see these stompers have been on here quite a while. And we're just going to switch styles here because I think the May West stompers are going to be the way to go. We're going to try them out, see what we think of them, they're a lot lighter, they swivel up out of the way easier. They're a new age stock stomper. These old rusty nuts here have been on here for quite a while. They could use a little bit of help coming off. And so for that, I like to use one of the greatest formulations ever known to mankind. Of course, that is WD-40's specialist rust release penetrant spray. Just give them a couple quick shots here. Let that soak in. Head over to the other side and lube up those old nuts. Got most things hanging here. What are you doing, Tom? Now I got this thing all loose, but I know it's gonna be heavier and more awkward and longer than what I can probably support on my own. I'm alone right now, so you guys are gonna get to see me struggle with this thing. Ooh, that's way heavier than I was even thinking. I'm gonna go loosen up the other side so that when they get here, it's just hanging on by the one nut and we can undo that and drop it down out of there. I'm afraid I'll end up hurting myself if I try and get that out on my own. Oh, millennials are so scared to lift heavy things. By the way, borrowed this from my buddy Jake and ordered some cover crops. I'm gonna use this to try to spread about 45 acres of cover crops in the next few days here and then till them in with a special tillage tool that you guys will get a chance to see. A little humid out this morning. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Did I do it? How did that go? All right, we'll try one more. Perhaps this is a poor demonstration for safety protocol. Ew. What is that? If May West showed up, Eric is back. He thinks the first thing we should do is paint that thing red. I don't agree with you at all. I think that's a great <laughs> idea. You can go now. Hey, I just swept there. You want to stop getting that on the floor? Sorry. All right. You guys do a good job of looking like you have an idea what you're talking about. 
I thought they didn't like my joke. I turned the camera off and then he picks on John Deere again. Onyx, you still think you gotta ride your sister's bike around? Hey. Yep. Where were you this morning? We're gonna be making two videos here today. We got my video going and we got a professional video going. So people that ask me what equipment I use, definitely nothing like what's going on over here. And I have informed Eric to make sure he shows no emotion. Are you okay over there, Nancy? <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with Eric and Justin from May West Manufacturing and today we're gonna be installing a brand new set of G4 stock stompers on our John Deere coordinator. I wonder if we should have you gotta do like the Price is Right girl and introduce what we've got here. It's some new stock stompers! So what we're gonna do is have the stompers take up three, the main three rows right in front of the combine tires. So these are just the su support brackets for the main beam that's gonna run through there. Do you use this bracket then down here? Or is there just two? Nope. Is there, there's just the two? Just these two, yep. Okay. So I'm guessing these then will be adjustable to drop down in here. Is there a pin that goes through there? Oh, there it is right there. Your different adjustments. Yep. For your, uh, to raise and lower the entire bar. Correct. Can you handle that case guy? Uh, I don't know. Us case guys, we don't get a workout very often. Here, I'll help you. So we've got our first row right here. Right here? Yep. Third row is right here. So we could actually bring it, yeah. Four bolts is basically, that's it. Correct. Run four bolts through here onto the, onto the unit there. There it is. There's the screenshot with John Deere perfect in the background. Ooh. <laughs> now I got it on video too. We're trying to find a little toy, case I combine. A little red combine? A little red combine. We're uh -huh. gonna hide it in your cab. <laughs> that would be very mean spirited of you. Do the toys come broken? I gotta say, Eric, this looks like probably the uh, greatest set of stock stompers on this side of the Mississippi. What do you think? I am gonna have to agree with you. Your torsion unit is going to, um, it, it will turn approximately 35 degrees both directions. 35 degrees? 35 degrees. Wow. I'm gonna let Justin show you guys here since he's doing it. That's how easily these things rotate. They just pull the pin, you can, you can swivel them. This would be the down position where we'll operate at when we harvest. Or you can put them in the sideways position here. That's probably, we'll probably put them there for storage and putting on the trailer and everything. So we don't have to deal with the heavy clunky ones anymore. Who let you back out here? Have you eaten anybody today? That's a sharp, sharp cap there. Where'd you get that? That came from Trevor Bales. All right, we're gonna set this thing down now that we got all six of them on and see where they're at so we can adjust them up and down to see where we want them, make sure they're in the sweet spot. But I'd say that's pretty close. Do you want them to actually ride a lot along the ground a little bit or do you want them off the ground some? Um, riding right along the ground to just, just the ball. Okay. Oh well, yeah, that one's right on it. You think they're good? I think they're good. If we did want to switch them, there's a couple different ways to do it. We can move them. I assume these holes are on one inch spacings. Yep, they're one inch spacing, so we can go up or down an inch here. Um, or we also, we were in the middle hole here, so we can go up or down. Up or down there. there. Okay. Are you excited about your first ever haircut? I'm not excited. I'm just getting a trim. You're just getting a trim? You've had haircuts before. I've cut my hair to my shoulder. Daddy, you got a haircut. Well, quite a while ago. I need another one now. Daddy, it's do you know why I did this? Why? Because I like my birthdays. Oh, I like your birthdays too. I just found out it's Eric's birthday. What a better place to celebrate a birthday than right here at the Millennial Farmer. I agree. Do you like <laughs> birthday cake? I do. 
I have some in a silver can. The mountains are blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you to Nancy, Justin, and Eric for coming out here from May West Manufacturing and helping me install these things. There we are. I'm back. Thanks to those guys for helping me install these things. We're going to run them through the ringer and see how they do this fall. I really like the idea behind them where we're not having to mess with that spring and everything. And uh, I got a few other things that I want to do to this combine. I got a 170 degree wide angle backup camera that I'm going to put in there. I got a big toolbox that we got from Sloan Express that's going to go on the side there. And we're going to outfit this thing, get it ready to go. And harvest is going to be here before you guys know it. There's a few guys around the area starting to take wheat out. I heard that the wheat is pretty wet. Uh, we're going to have some wet crops this year. So we're going to make sure we got plenty of LP contracted to dry everything down and uh, have this thing ready to go. You doing okay, Tom? Are you good? All right, I won't bug you. Just uh, I'm gonna slide your bed back over where it goes. All right, we're all folded out of the way. I'm gonna go grab lunch before I gotta take the kids to the county fair. Mm -hmm.